everybody, it's Miss Casey. I'm back to show you how to make this beautiful fork print sunburst art. It's a lot of fun and it doesn't require a lot of supplies. And um, let's get started. So what you're gonna need is some yellow paint. Now we gave you some yellow paint in your supply packet. And so you're gonna squeeze it out on a paper plate. And we also gave you a fork. Um, you're gonna need an orange and a yellow crayon as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the sunbursts, okay? So let's look at our sample. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make a swirl, 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 swirl around into a circle and stop. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So we're gonna put one right here. So start in the center, start, start at a point, and then just keep twirling around and around and around and around and around and around. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you just have to kind of keep moving your wrist around to give you this sunburst look, okay? So there's one. So we'll put about five on our picture on our page because five will fit pretty nicely. Again, we're gonna start around and around and around and around and around and around and just keep going all the way around. Okay, and you'll make it about, maybe about two inches wide. Um, you know, you don't wanna make it too big, okay? And then let's put one over here. We'll go around and around. And we'll just keep going around. It's almost like making a tornado, okay? <clears throat> and we'll do one over here. Go around. Okay, and then we'll put one here. And I'm just, it's almost like a scribble scrabble, really, but um, you just wanna keep going in circles, okay? So now we have our five sunbursts. Now the yellow crayon, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna color right over top of your swirl that you made, okay? Just color right over top of it, just like that. And you're gonna cover over all five swirls. Okay, and kind of fill it in yellow. Okay, let's do this one. And fill it in. And then over here, fill it in. And then one more. Okay, kind of looks like a sun right now, right? <clears throat> Next time you're drawing a sun on a piece on some kind of art, maybe that's how you can draw your sun. But I think that looks good, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the rays. So we're gonna take our fork and we're just gonna dip it in the paint and we're just going to start putting it down around each sunburst. And then you can keep dipping it if you need it and just kind of move it around to make a sunburst. And then we're gonna do it on all five. Now some of the sunbursts will overlap each other and that's good, that's what you want. Okay, now we'll move over here and you're just gonna dip it and use the fork as a paintbrush. Hopefully it's sunny out where you're at today. Today as I'm making this, it's pretty cloudy out. So I like sunny days and I'm sure you do too. Okay. This is a perfect summer craft. <clears throat> and then when this dries, here, let's take a look back. When this dries, um, you'll be able to frame this, this would make a great framed piece of art. Um, it also would make a great card for somebody. You can fold it in half and make it a card for somebody if somebody's having a summer birthday, um, but you can decide. So that's our sunburst fork print art. So I hope you like it, have fun with it. Can't wait to see how yours turns out. Bye.